One of the biggest limitations in suspension travel of vehicle is shock length. And since today I am going to be replacing the rear shocks of the Disco with these longer TJM ones, I thought it would be fitting to make a video showcasing the difference this can make. The plan is to go to a place where I always go to to test my new modifications. We are going to get the Disco crossed up to see we travel with the current shocks and then go back to the garage, replace the shocks and go back and check the travel again. The shocks in the disco right now are HM 4x4. It is an Italian company that pretty much hand builds these shocks. They are very good shocks. However, they are not long enough because I have lifted the disco two extra inches over the two and a half inch lift in the rear. So they are now stretched out therefore I have lost wheel articulation and to get that articulation back I am going to be installing the TJM ones So as you can see, with the current shocks, the Disco has lifted its wheel and cannot continue forwards because it doesn't have diff locks on the axles. So this wheel is spinning and the front driver's side wheel is also spinning. Everything is still in place. The coil in, is in place and the shock is at full droop so this is the current wheel articulation it's not bad but for a car without diff locks i think we can do a bit better So the old HM 4x4 shock is out. As you can see from mounting point to mounting point, there is a difference. It might not look huge right now, but trust me, when we test this out, you will see that there is a very big difference in wheel travel. I must say that these old HM 4x4 shocks are very good. The build quality is great. And the only reason I am removing them is the length i'm definitely going to be saving them though they are thick about as thick as this tjm one which by the way uh, is for a nissan patrol and the way i will install it is by using these brackets right here so the eye so this is an eye mount and this is a pin mount the eye will mount in here and the pin for the axle will go through here so the pin is going to be a bolt that is going to secure this mount onto the axle and the shock will mount onto these. So yeah, I'll get them installed and we are off for some testing. Anyway, because it was too late to go and film 
We are two days later and currently on our way to the spot where we flexed up the disco at the beginning of the video and we are now going back to check out the travel with the new shocks. So, as you can see, there is quite a big difference in wheel articulation. The rear wheel is still on the ground and if we have a look inside the wheel arch, you will see that the coil is down here, whereas with the old, with the old shocks it wouldn't even dislocate. Now, I know that some people do not like this setup with the dislocating coils, because it is unretained and it's not pushing down on the wheel. But I think I disagree, at least for now, because having the disco unlocked with both the old shocks and with these ones, I can tell you that with the longer ones, it goes a lot better off-road. And getting similar amounts of travel with a setup that won't dislocate will cost thousands of dollars. But yeah, this is all for this video. I hope that this little comparison between the shorter and the longer shocks gave you an idea on the impact shock length can have on wheel travel and if you want to get a bit more flex out of your car you can do the exact same thing unless you already have a lot of flex and you're having binding in your suspension. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.